Open, open, open. Some cool quality pieces. I'm not seeing too much. I'm seeing a face. I gotta. Oh my goodness. Oh, look what I see. Hiding under here. Jew, you are an imposter, sir. Uh oh. We got a shoplifter. Shoplifter. to be home and shopping back at my kind of like my comfort zones like you know when you have a store and you just know the layout and you know how things are gonna go and you know you always come away with some good stuff well that's one of the stores I'm at tonight I'm at one of my local Goodwills and I'm going in to see what goodies I can find to resell so without further ado let's get shop done open 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 Let's go find us. Oh, <laughs> which door is going to open? It's going to be this one. All right. I'm, is that the lucky cart? Mm -hmm. All right. She there says it's the lucky cart. That's All right. Lucky. All right. We have our lucky cart. All right. I'm not a big doll person, but this girl's awfully cute. Let's scoot you out of here and see who you are. <laughs> Look at her. She's $6.99. She's got some tears in her dress. She's a little on the disheveled side. She's really cute, but I think I'm going to leave her. I'm going to go for a little bit higher end stuff tonight. Oh, she's she is really cute. Not going to deny. She is really cute, but... We are going to look for some other things. She is resin. What are you? A little apple jar. I wish you were glass. Why not? I do. 8477. This, this has like a vintage vibe to it. I am going to say, I don't. Oh, look at that. We opened it up. It does have a vintage vibe. It's just a little canister. It's $2.99. Okay, I am, I am going to get the apple because I kind of love it. If you're new to watching my videos, you will find my purchasing style is one of really focusing on getting things that I enjoy dealing with. You know, like horses, but they also have to be profitable. And at $12.99, that's not gonna be a profitable plate for me. Uh, but I don't just pick up just anything. I want things that spark joy for me. This is interesting and it's got some real like steer hide, but it's not very, it's not made very well. It's, it's kind of cheaply glued together. So I'm really looking for those items that just make me happy. Make me say, I want to buy you and present you to people. And then people pick up on that. You know, they, they feel that in my voice too, when I'm excited about something pretty little purple glass but nothing significant and I just have to laugh it's still here and it's still red tagged it's $7.99 if you don't know uh, this this was broken when I was purchasing it one night and it uh, got accidentally shoved off the counter and there it is still there but now we have an obelisk this is a marble obelisk. It is $12.99. I wish they hadn't written the 13 on the bottom, but they did. Ah, oh, that's a really, really nice piece. Even at $13, I think that one's worth picking up, and we're gonna pick it up. It's a nice little piece of pottery. It does say made in Japan. I was not expecting to find that. I really like the finish on this. You see like the black kind of speckled? And then it's, the glaze doesn't completely cover the bottom, which is interesting. You know what, for $3.99, I'm gonna pick that piece up. And then up here, wild blueberry bread. Now I don't do candles, but I do enjoy sniffing a candle. Ah, if I can, there we go. Let's get it open. 
Can you smell that? Oh, that smells really good. <gasps> Ooh. I'm looking to see if it's a soy candle. I'm very, very particular about candles um, when I do burn them, like at the store. If I was to burn a candle, I'd want it to be a soy because I don't want any toxic stuff going into the air. Uh, but that smelled really good, but it doesn't say it's soy. These came from Hobby Lobby. Pretty. Then there's this green piece of glass that I'm wondering why it's got a hole in the middle. Where do you think that went with? Did it sit like something else? Kind of had another piece there? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, that's kind of a pretty piece of pottery. You can see it's more of like a terracotta base with a really heavy glaze and then these blue drips. I like that. I don't think it's very old, but it's really a nice quality piece that I think I can sell up in my store booth for about $25. So that one's going in the cart. See what we have here. It's like another shade. More little pieces of pottery. Again, I've been picking up a lot of planters, as I said in my last video, or my last couple of videos, that uh, spring is around the corner and people start thinking about gardening and planting, and, and nice little pots will be a really good commodity. So I'm going to pick those up too. So I haven't talked too much about my space at the good stuff, but yes, I have a whole area that's full of treasures that I've found out in the wild. I really wish this wasn't chipped and cracked. I would totally pick that up. Uh, so if you ever see me, oh, there's two more. If you ever see me pick up something and you want to come and see if I've put that on my state. Oh, look, made in Japan again. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Love it. Um, yeah. Just uh, come visit the Good Stuff Thrift Store if you're in town because I am bringing some of the larger items to that area now. I know these are nothing exciting, but they are a color that I absolutely adore. That one's got a big sliver chip on it. Unfortunately, there are two of them. Ugh, I really like them. Like, I even like it with the chip. I gotta tell you, these are a great color. It's my bougie blue. Great decorator pieces for five bucks each. I think I'm gonna get those. Not because they have a lot of resale value, just because I love the color and the shape. All right, let's see what else. Oh, that's a shame, little Christmas tree. It's all broken though. Yes, I see the pumpkins. Really cute pumpkin, but I'm gonna leave the pumpkins. My pumpkins are all put away. That is a candle. Now, I wouldn't want to ship this, but I do have my stage. He's pretty spectacular. I gotta tell you, look at those red eyes. Mm, what's he missing here in the front though? I feel like he's got a broken off leg. That's a bummer. All right, we're gonna leave him because he's got a broken leg. Somebody else will get him and keep him for their own. And if he was for me, I wouldn't be that worried about the broken leg, but for resale, that'll really hurt his resale value. Cute little Raffia bunny. Maybe you put him in like a plant or something? Okay, I'm picking him up. Cute little shadow box. Does that say Racker? Cracker Barrel, duh, Cracker Barrel. 1998, it's an older Cracker Barrel piece. Sometimes Cracker Barrel pieces can be worth picking up. They have some pretty unique stuff that they put through their little shops. look for some cool quality pieces. I'm not seeing too much. I'm seeing a face. I gotta... Oh my goodness. That's... He's, uh... He's not very nice, but I feel like I got to uh, get this and give it to uh, Mikey and Sunny. 
Okay, it's, it's kind of funny. <laughs> oh, goodness. Made in China. Ooh, what is that? This is, uh, it's many, it's a magnet. Oh, it's not a very strong magnet. And for as heavy as the piece is, you need a really strong magnet. It's beautiful, hand painted on a piece of a shell, but that magnet's just not strong enough to do much. What's that say? Got a shoplifter. Shoplifter. Oh boy. Excitement at the Goodwill. That girl don't mess around. She was like, uh-uh, you are not walking out of my store with that jacket. I'm pretty sure she got it back. <laughs> I'm gonna beat that purchase I made in the last video. That's a that's a get go. Oh, I don't know. Once, once in a lifetime kind of find. And uh, everything else is a little bit like, oh, well, you know, it's just stuff after that. But if you didn't see that, you're gonna definitely have to go back and see what I found in the last video because it's pretty spectacular. This is a punched tin made in Mexico little uh, wall hanging uh, curio but it's it's um it's kind of bent up you know it's not even opening unfortunately it's kind of cool I don't think that guy is going to be coming back to this store to do his uh, shoplifting they were pretty much on him <laughs> like, what? I that's like a stopper, but then that's like a glass. So was it like a stopper that's also like a little glass? I don't know. It's kind of cute. Oh, nothing too exciting here. A little crackle glass piece. Not very exciting. Some little, uh, I think that's Anchor Hawking, the uh, charm pat now. Is it charm? I think it is charm. Little square pattern. Not super, not super high end or anything. Just kind of a fun vintage piece. Harry Potter. Oh, they're still in there. I would have thought they were over here because somebody snagged the DVDs out of them. You know, being in retail myself, I totally understand these things. It's kind of a pretty piece. It is a Z Gallery peacock color. It's in pretty good shape, actually. I don't see any major chipping to that piece. You know what? That's coming with me. These are Ray Dunn. Baby's First Christmas 2021. I feel like that's not going to be a very good seller, and they have three of them. Hmm, there's somebody's little project piece. It's kind of pretty. Gotta appreciate that. All right, I don't see anything too horribly exciting on these shelves. 
Made in Portugal. It's interesting. Yeah. All right. We will go through the plastic. These aren't plastic. Yeah, those are plastic. Wow. They're making the plastic look just like glass now. That's kind of a trip. see anything that floats my boat tonight. These are really cute. Of course, you know I like the color. I'm pretty sure these are Temptations. Yeah, they sure are. $4.99 on the little single bowl. And how much are you? $4.99 on the one that has the trivet and the rack. So you know what? And this I could sell like all together as a set. So I'm going to pick that up. Alright, let's see. Royal. Don't know who Royal is. Let's find some more polka dots. These are a nice color too. I'm, I'm attracted to certain colors, you can tell. These are Mainstay, which is a Target brand, I do believe. Oh, look what I see. Hiding under here. Let me get to you. Here, let's put you where you're safer up here and let's grab another one of these it's probably oh why is this one $9.99 you know what I'm gonna see if maybe they might do a price adjustment because $9.99 is a little much to pay and the other one's exactly the same for $4.99 so I'm gonna see what I can do up at the checkout this is a very mid-century looking pattern look at that I mean it's got some pretty deep crazing but what I'm thinking of doing is it's Taylor Smith Taylor. I'm thinking of getting this for Crystal to use in some of her creations because this is right up her alley. What is it, $2.99? Yep, we can do that. And then this bowl looks interesting. Look how pretty that is. Who makes you hand painted in Thailand? Blooming World Productions. That's really stunning. Really, really stunning. <gasps> Oh man, never mind. Big, 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 big chip. All right, gotta pass, gotta pass it. We will keep on the hunt. See what we got, look at that. Big old kind of cauldron looking bean pot. Oh boy, you are really broken too. Never mind on you. Christmas village accessories, but what are they? Like little, just little cobblestone, little cobblestone pieces. What'd you do with those? I don't know. Um, just a, no. Do I need them? I do want to make like little scenes and stuff and this would only be a buck. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna get it. I know, this is how my brain works. It wrestles sometimes. It does wrestle. I think I see a piece of Noritake down here. A nice bowl. No, you're not Noritake. You're Royal Rochester Studios. Huh. Sure did look like Noritake. That's a really interesting piece that I feel like for $2.99 is a good pickup. All right, we are now in the mugs. Blueberries just picked. Let's see what's down there. Hilo Hattie, those used to be good sellers. They are not anymore. We've got a cute little dachshund. Seaport. Yeah, nothing. Super exciting, except, oh, the humanity. Well, for those that don't know, uh, Carrie really loves manatees because, after all, she is a mermaid. And uh, she drinks coffee, so I got a little prezzy for Carrie. All right, let's see. If there's anything else exciting here? Nothing's really calling to me, and I, that's what I look for. I look for things that just kind of jump out from the shelves at me. I know there's other people who look a little deeper, and sometimes I do, but for the most part, I'm just really looking for those eye catchers, those call to me items, those why aren't you looking at me further Danny kind of items. That's how I fly. That's how I do it. 
been doing it that way for a very long time and it's served me very, very well. I have plenty of inventory and I don't need every single thing that's worth money. I like to leave stuff on the shelves for other people too. So I know these go with a very, very expensive champagne set. And I see two, four, six, there's seven of them. Of course there is. Couldn't be eight. Oh, eight. There's eight. There's a set of eight. They are going to be $2 each, but I think that's okay. I'll probably sell them in sets of two. So we're going to go ahead and pick those up. Oh, let's see if we've got anything exciting over here. Souvenir from Morocco. Do love those colors. But souvenir pieces generally don't do real well. These are kind of nice. But onward we look. Looking for a really stellar piece. I do love this jar, except for the big crack inside. That's unfortunate. Otherwise, that would have been a nice pickup. It's $7.99, just a little more than I'd want to spend, but crock pot recipe card collection. Are there recipes in here? There are. Crock pot meals. Ooh, sweet treats. We need to do more crock pot stuff because we just haven't had time to really like cook, cook lately. So I'm gonna, <laughs> it's got $1.99 and $2.99. And $3.99. Well, that's an interesting one. Well, hopefully they're going to give me that one. But you know what? I'm picking this up for myself, so it doesn't matter. I'm good with either one. Oh, what else? What else? That's cute. But what do you do with it? Like some kind of a little marker? I don't know. It's a little tomato thing. I don't know. I don't know what it does. Except look cute. If you know, let me know down in the comments. I would appreciate it. All right, nothing else on these shelves. All right. We don't really deal in appliances. Sometimes I look for my own interesting little kitcheny gadgets. But like I just said, we haven't even been cooking lately. So nothing really pulling me here. What is a cocoa latte? I wonder what that does. Hmm. More cookware. I see a marble trivet, but. Oh, it's a cheese cutter. It's got the little, it's got the little cutter thing like built in the little wire there. That's cool. It got a little too close to the fire. It looks like somebody uh, got this burned a little bit. Prodyne. That's a neat. A neat piece. We don't really uh, do anything with cheese that way, and I couldn't really resell it because of the burn marks, so we'll leave that one. And we'll look at the little blue enamel little pot again. Looks like it's spent its time on the campfire and it's quite burned. Let's see if there's anything exciting over here. Here. That's that, that's not a detangler. That's uh, knives. Okay. Oh, these are cool. These jeweled salad. I, I don't know if those would clean up though. These are kind of nice with the amber handles. I just don't know if those would clean up. And I'd have to pay eight bucks for them, so I think I'm going to leave those. Let somebody else deal with them. All right, I see something interesting up here. Let's see what you are. You are a carved, feels like soapstone. 10 bucks, it was $30 wherever it was sold and now it's 10. It's kind of a cool piece actually. I feel like I could probably get 30 bucks for that. So I'm gonna grab that even at the $10. Are you dumber than a box of rocks? Trivia race. Questions. How many times had Family Guy been canceled when more than 100,000 diehard fans signed a petition to bring it back? 
How many baby birds are chirping in the nest on the Nestle logo? How many minutes does it take today to snap more photos than were taken during the entire 1800s? Draw a card, pick a category, shake the box, and open the top. Who has the correct answer? You or the rocks? The quick play trivia race asks the obnoxious question, are you dumber than a box of rock? That's, that's kind of fun, but I, we just don't have time. It does sound kind of fun, though. Oh, look. Why do I keep finding these puzzles? This one's the classic games. Unfortunately, this has been opened, and I almost never buy uh, opened puzzles. Because all it takes is for one piece to be missing, and you have ruined it all. <laughs> so, we'll leave that for somebody who can handle that frustration greater than I. Is this just a notepad, notebook? Ooh, I like it. I like it. Actually, I love it. Okay. I go through a lot of notebooks with just writing things down and journaling and that kind of thing. So I always pick them up when I find them here at the Goodwill. This is 2021 and 22. That's no good no more. I do have some planners that I need to actually be planning with now that I think about it. <laughs> Forgot I had those. Oh, anything in like the bathroom stuff? Anything exciting in the bathroom stuff? I see nothing. Definitely don't want an iron. This is a store that I have found some really awesome store supplies at. So I always look through kind of these crafty sections because sometimes there's, you know, just some cardstock and, I don't know, bowls. No, hats. <laughs> Those are hats. Oh, you know. Because who doesn't need a little uh, Peter Pan looking hat? Made in, are those vintage? I almost feel like those are vintage. They're made in USA. J hats. Hmm. I mean, doesn't make them worth a whole lot. Just, just kind of cool to find old stuff like that. All right, nothing else on these shelves. I found a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. Let's see if it's, oops, oops. Don't drop it, Danny, come on. It's one-handed stuff, come on. Oh, here we go. Let's see if it's in here. And, oh, 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 oh. Oh, those are ornaments. Oh yeah, he's in there. He's in there with his one little, or it's an ornament, that's right. The uh, Charlie Brown Christmas tree comes with one ornament. These actually have some resale value too. Uh, he's $5.99. We are putting him in the cart. Let's see if there's anything else exciting on the Mishy Mashy shelf. What's this rope? Is it a dog? No, it's just cotton rope. It's just cotton rope. Because who doesn't need cotton rope? Well, apparently me tonight, because I am leaving it on the shelf. What is that? That is a slab of wood to paint. A wood slice, if you will. Works best with real chalk. Oh, and it's glittered on, no, okay. Not quite what I thought it was. All right, nothing else in the mishy mashy. Looking through, I guess they put like towels and things. Actually, it is towels and things. But there are some tea towels that can do quite well. So I look for those. I look for things for my own house. Oh, look how adorable he is. I am gonna pick up the chicken tea towel. All right, we're going through the pillows. This one's new with tags. Hello, spring. Huh, well, that's almost pertinent. It was a $5 pillow, wherever it came from. Not, oh, there's the price. What are they pricing it at? $3.99. Not quite a savings there. Uh, let's see. Nope, nothing else super tempting tonight. All right, let's look up in the toys. See if there's anything exciting. Mm, what are you 
you over there? Let's go over on the other side. But before I get over there, I'm gonna scan this side real quick. See if there's anything since I'm already here. And nope, I don't see anything on this side. This is Frankie the Funky Flamingo. I wonder if he still still works. Let's see. Let's see. Let's bring you down here. Oh my gosh, you're twenty six dollars. And he needs batteries. So I twirl my neck and dance to three funky songs. And I'm sure you are super adorable, but uh, we don't want to spend that much because we are super cheap when it comes to our resale purchases. Are you a squish? Are you a squishmallow? I don't think you are. You are an imposter. Whose imposter are you? We don't know. You're from March 2022. But you... You are an imposter, sir. All right, let's take a peek in the lamps. I had forgot to look when I came in what the color was, and I just uh, heard an announcement saying it's purple, and I think I may actually have put some purple in the cart. I do like the sea urchin lamp. I just don't really have a purpose for the sea urchin lamp, and I have way too many lamps to deal with right now for reselling, so we're going to leave that. Look over here at the art because again, I, I have a lot of art right now, so it's got to be really super tempting for me to pick it up. And I'm not really seeing any super tempting art. Nope, nothing really calling me, although I do need a whiteboard. I do need another whiteboard at the shop. But that's not a, it's just a frame. I thought it was a whiteboard, it's not, it's a frame. Now I feel silly. I need a whiteboard though. I know I'm gonna find one. I'm gonna find one out of Goodwill. I'm not gonna have to pay a full price. That's an interesting piece of art. Looks like uh, one of the Canadian artists, like an indigenous art. C.L. Trudell. It's pretty banged up and not framed or anything, so I'm going to leave that. All right, I found this skirt over, like, on the go-back rack. Uh, it's just fun, and I am putting a few clothing pieces up on my stage, so it's only $4.99, and it's, again, it's just super fun. So I'm going to head to the checkout now. Stay tuned for the recap. I'm going to tell you everything I bought how much I paid and how much it's worth. That's coming up right now. goodwill tonight and it just was was all very good so the the girl who 
um, actually was responsible for, she didn't tackle him, but I'm going to just use the word tackling the shoplifter. I uh, was the one that helped me out to the car and she pointed out that her district manager was here tonight. I'm like, oh, oh, district manager. Uh, so I got to touch base with one of my corporate connections here at Goodwill and had a nice talk with him about, you know, just some of the detailed things that Goodwill's doing to improve their stores because I, and I tell everybody this is I am teaching new entrepreneurs how to build their business. Look at what's working for some of the big corporate giants because they spend a lot of time and money researching, figuring things out, and they don't have the ability to make split-second decisions. Everything has to go through a board and be approved, where we as business owners, we can pivot, turn, flex, grow. <laughs> You've heard me say that before. We can do those things very quickly because we are only answering to ourselves. But So don't be afraid to look at what's working for a store that maybe you really, really, really love to shop in and you're like, yeah, I, you know, I could never do anything like that. You can, you can. Uh, so it's always, always good to kind of connect with those at a corporate level and talk about what's going on. So it was a pretty exciting night for me all around. And uh, I, I did have quite a few purple items that were half price. So I'm pretty excited about that too. All right. With that, I am heading home. I got to go feed the fish. <laughs> It's my nightly little thing to do. And of course, uh, spend some time with the kids also who are waiting for me to bring home dinner. So with that, you go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.